But we begin with President Trump. He's under pressure facing protests as he heads to Dayton and El Paso today to meet with families and first responders after those deadly mass shootings. It could be a tense day. The president already targeting his critics on Twitter. And Kira Phillips is at the White House with the latest. Good morning, Kira. Good morning, George. Well, some members of the El Paso community not necessarily rolling out the welcome mat for the president's visit, citing his history of inflammatory rhetoric. So now, as he prepares to deliver another message of unity, President Trump is also ramping up attacks on one of El Paso's own. Hours ahead of his trip to the border town of El Paso, Texas, President Trump lashing out at former Congressman Beto O'Rourke a staunch critic of the president and one of the most high profile members of this grieving community. People in El Paso by and large do not want to see him here, understand that he is part of the problem, part of how we got to this point. The president tweeting O'Rourke has a phony name to indicate Hispanic heritage, telling the 2020 Democratic candidate to be quiet. O'Rourke firing back in a tweet of his own saying, 22 people in my hometown are dead after an act of terror inspired by your racism. El Paso will not be quiet and neither will I. Those comments from the president happening on the heels of his own calls for unity amid tragedy just two days ago. Now is the time to set destructive partisanship aside, so destructive, and find the courage to answer hatred with unity, devotion, and love. Meanwhile, this morning, many people in the El Paso community are uneasy about the president's return to the city. Why would he want to come? He has promoted a lot of this, that's, all this anger. He has promoted it across the nation, and uh, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. On the front page of the El Paso Times, the biggest newspaper in this predominantly Hispanic community, an open letter written by the paper's editor, inviting the president to, quote, change your view of our border community, asking him to experience this city with a deep tradition of racial harmony and writing the hatred that came to us came from an outsider. It did not come from El Paso. Today's visit marks the president's second trip to El Paso this year. In February, he held a rally talking about undocumented immigrants and the border wall, even with El Paso being one of the three safest major cities in America. George, the FBI now considering federal hate crime and federal firearm charges against that 21-year-old suspect, which, as you know, carries a possible death penalty. George? Kara Phillips, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.